Und morgen schon wieder der Himmel, der mich jetzt schon ja kusse mit einer neuen Folge von Sherlock Holmes. Chapter 1. So, äh, ich habe jetzt nochmal die Haare gekauft, dass es so exakt aus, so aussieht. Und ja, wie es da weitergeht, erfahrt ihr jetzt. Wir befinden uns immer noch bei der Hauptmission. Gehen wir zu diesen, diesen intolerante Leute. Boniface, sweetie. Is that you? Ah, old age does terrible things to one's sight. I didn't recognize you at first. How are you, Mom? I I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost my key. Do you have a spare? For heaven's sake! How many times will you lose that key of yours? Of course I have a spare. You artists all live in your own little world. Please, accept my thanks. I would rather accept your rent. You promised to pay me several weeks ago and I'm still waiting. I will pay you, I promise, very soon. You'd better do, my dear. Or else I'll just change the lock. And I won't fall for those cow eyes. This is for a Wo ist mein Zimmer? Oh, ein Mord! Echt, der Ding ist tot! The chest has been searched. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. Aunt May Whiskey, Brandy Bucks. Quite a collection he had here. I wonder where he got that fancy camera. Despite the overall tendency towards mess, you cannot sit with the drawer pulled out like this. Someone left it after searching. It appears the wine was truly awful. Später, wenn ich alles voll habe. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. Look at this, John. Isn't it our stolen demon? The blood has dried. I've heard of this style of painting. It is called expressionism. Judging by post mortem rigidity, the body lay here for one or two days. The wound is precise. It was inflicted by a razor or a knife. Oh. Soaked in blood. It seems as if the puddle of blood was here before the rags. Also, dieser Messer was gefehlt hat. Ja. Das ist genau dieser, dieser Messer. A normal kitchen knife. Could be the murder weapon.
Ja. Ja. Nein. Warte. Nein, andersrum. Ja. Nein, das war kein Selbstmord. Das wäre. Kommt her und versucht ihn das Ding zu stehlen. Nein, der erwürgt ihn nicht. So. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Dann eben so. Mercurio was developing photographs when the intruder snuck in. Mercurio heard him coming. While the thief was searching the chest, the painter ran towards him with a bottle in his hand. He smashed it across the thief's head. The intruder had no choice but to defend himself, and the weapon of opportunity happened to be a kitchen knife. Mercurio stepped aside to grab the painting, but the wine-blinded thief attacked Mercurio's throat. When the thief came to his senses, he saw Mercurio bleeding on the floor. He grabbed the rags and tried to bandage him, but it was too late. Why did Mercurio attempt to snatch the painting in the middle of a fight? To strike the intruder? Not with his painting, it was too important to him. Das muss man schon machen. Der Dieb wollte den Maler nicht töten. Der Dieb hat, hat er nicht vor dem Maler Bonifazio Mer Mercurio zu ermorden. Okay. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. Was weiß wohl jemand, der ihn kannte? Hier? Kannte ihn sehr gut. Do you know what makes a lady happy? Paid rent. It's time for some chemical magic, John. Okay. Uh, uh -oh. Was ist das? Zweimal? Okay, das könnte passen. Äh. Quatsch, nein.
Mann. Das passt. Das war schwer. Gemälde aus der Messung mit einem Begriff von der Chemikalie könnte ich das Blut von Gemälde entfernen. Es handelt sich um ein Stillleben von Müssen. Hm. Okay. Uh, that doesn't look like the painting we need, Sherry. As expected, but that doesn't mean it won't tell us anything. Let's put it on the easel where it belongs. I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John? If the intruder didn't take it, the skull should be somewhere here. Nothing behind it. monster was actually a man. Poor girl. John, you ought to be thrilled. We are now hunting the devil himself. Uh, what were you saying, Sherry? I was too busy sketching the scene, you know, crimes and such like, daily routine. Did you find something? A photograph. It depicts a man in a red suit with tails sprouting from his back and multiple people in masks watching the scene. It all adds up. But the act of love, it wasn't given willingly, John. It was a violation. And the girl, she was with child. Give that to me now. Did you recognize someone? No. Although the victim is not from Cordona, she is African. Look at the ritual scars on her face. Get that image out of your brain. You have to continue the investigation. I must speak to the landlady. Perhaps she saw or heard something. Sherry, you cannot tell her the truth about Mercurio. It will hurt her. John, that's illogical. Sooner or later, she will come here and discover a corpse, and I still need to talk to her. Just avoid mentioning corpse. All right? Stick to the character. Tell her to call the police. I'll take that into account. And wait here. I've redrawn the people in the photograph. Now you can proceed with your investigation without those... horrific details. Besten sollte es, ja, am besten sollte sie gar nichts wissen. Hat da ein bisschen recht. Besucher könnte nach Foto gesucht haben. Der Besucher könnte versuchen, versucht haben, die schreckliche Fotografie zu finden und mitzunehmen. John hält es für keine gute Idee, den Vermietern zu sagen, dass Mr. Mer 
Boden ist. Er schlug das Nester vor, dass ich mich weiterhin als Mana ausgeben sollte. Okay. Dann. You always take me to the best of places, Sherry. What's wrong, dear? You look like you've seen the ghost. Nein. Can you tell me if anyone else has recently entered the flat? Oh, you're talking about that limping man. I'm sorry I let him in. I was scared. And I thought maybe... Maybe he would motivate you to find money so that you would pay your rent. No offense, dear. Can you describe him? Oh, so you weren't at home. I was so certain you didn't leave your flat that day. He was of average height, had a limp and a tattoo on his neck, and he was smoking Malpal cigarettes. My husband used to smoke those. They have a horrible smell I can recognize from a mile away. Rufen Sie die Polizei. Can I ask a favor? Of course, dearie. Please call the police and ask them to enter the flat and don't look inside until they come up. What? What trouble have you stepped in this time? It really doesn't matter. Thank you, Mum. Ich sage ihr nicht die Wahrheit. So. Galerie Dieb war in Mr. Mersuris Wohnung. Und die Fatze Mörder und der Galerie Dieb sind in sind ein und dieselbe Person. Der Dieb wollte die Fotogra Der Dieb wollte die Fotografie stehlen. Der Dieb wollte in der Wohnung die Fotografie stehlen, fand sie jedoch nicht und tötet Mr. McCoon unabsichtlich. Verstehe. Kerl, eine Afrikanerin. John zeichnet die Fotografie eine Ver Vergewaltigung nach. Ich hatte die Fotografie zuvor in Mrs. Mersudis Wohnung gefunden. Die Zeichnung zeigt eine schwangere Frau mit rituellen Stammnamen ins Gesicht. You're acting so strange today, dear. I hope someday you'll let me inside that head of yours. Oh, Sherry, that was close. But you did everything correctly. Now, take off your outfit. I can't let you walk around in a dead man's clothes. Wie sollte ich denn befragen? John zeichnete die Fotografien. Feindselig. Okay, ich muss jetzt für die Bürger. Moment. Er muss die Frau kennengelernt haben. Excuse me, just one question. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't help you. Could you help me? Mother says we should help each other, but I can't help you with this. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. Hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ah, das bedeutet, ich muss mich wie ein Bettler anziehen. Okay. Ich muss mal gucken, wer, wer, was ist. Oberschicht, Matrose, Einheimischer, Arbeiter, Polizist, Obdachloser, Kriminell. Okay. Ich muss mich mehr mit Obdachlosen anziehen. Okay. Wie sieht ein Obdachloser aus? Okay, jetzt. Could you help me? Oh, I know about that. Let me tell you. Die Narben auf der Gesicht des äh, Frau scheinen ihre Ursprung beim Stamm des Volk der Ebe zu haben. Auf Cordona kann man Ebe nur im Flüchtlingslager unter der Victoria Brücke zwischen Sal Scaladio und Silverton finden. Nein! Nein! Eisenbrücke, Vorbrücke, Schaffernbrücke. Er, er hat doch gesagt in der. Skaladio und Silverton. So, das heißt, hier ist es richtig. Ich muss immer wieder gucken, ey. Skaladio und Silberton. Skaladio und Silberton. anything about this I don't want to disappoint you but I'm clueless murderers are completely livid first they come to our land Then they murder our people. Drop them all into the sea. Murder. Sir, this place is off limits to the public. Please state your business or leave, or I shall request that the police escort you out. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm a private investigator. I'm looking for a witness for a case. A private investigator? Really? Even so, you're not authorized. I can't let you in. And you are? I'm Ronald Harlow, here to handle the refugee situation on behalf of City Hall. I'm the acting supervisor here, so I have full authority here to ask you to leave, or I shall order the police to detain you for trying to pass the blockade. Please, step back. Hier bin ich da gerade. Das ist auch Schwachsinn. Flaumiger Schnurrbart. Hm, versucht älter auszusehen. Arbeitet in geschlossener Raum. Ist blass und hat Augenringe. Arbeitet in der geschlossenen Raum. Übertriebene, seriöse Kleidung. Versucht Autorität zu wirken. Ich 
schwitzt und ist angespannt. Feuchte Hände. Was hat er zu verbergen? Saubere Schuhe. Arbeitet, ma arbeitet meistens in Sitzen. Junge Beamter, in der die Nase voll von seiner Arbeit hat. Er hat im Auftrag der Staatsverwaltung die Aufsicht über den Flüchtlingslager erhalten. Doch er ist zu erschöpft und zu. Er trägt eine flammigen Schnurre und glaubt, dies würde ihn älter auswirken lassen, als er ist. Seine blasse Haut und dunkle Augenringe lassen vermuten, dass er viel in einem dunklen Büro arbeitet. Seine saubere und kaum verschließende Schuhe stützen die Vermutung, er scheint viel im Sitzen zu arbeiten und sich wenig draußen zu bewegen. Allerdings wirkt er von der Arbeit im Freien auch nicht sonderlich angetan. Seine schwitzende Handfläche zeigen, dass er unter Stress steht. Angesichts des aktuellen Wetters in Corona hätte er vielleicht leicht. Ist ein blasser Junge, der sein Bestes gibt, um ein Flüchtlingslager unter Kontrolle zu halten. Über das er im Auftrag der Staatsanwalt, äh, Staatverwaltung, die auf sich hat, er ist nicht als so glücklich über diese große Verantwortung, hält sich jedoch streng an die Vorschriften und erledigt alle Aufgaben, die ihm übertragen wurden. Allerdings scheint ihm die Erfahrung zu fehlen, um mit Problemen fertig zu werden, die sich außerdem seines Büro abspielen. Mit seinen flaumigen Schnurrbach versucht er älter auszusehen, als er tatsächlich ist. Seine blasse Haut und dunkle Augenringe deuten darauf hin, dass sein Büro, Büro nur schwach beleuchtet ist. Zudem verlässt er es selten, was er seinen saubere und kaum zerschlissene Schuhe zu erkennen ist. Mit seiner Kleidung will er Respekt einflüssen aussehen, doch angesichts des Wetters auf Corona wirkt das unpassend. Seine schützende Handfläche legen den Schluss nahe, dass es eine große Belastung für Mr. Saholo darstellt sich außerhalb seiner Komfortzone zu bewegen. So, meine Schlussfolgerung. Unerfahren. Sehr unerfahren. What about the murder that this crowd keeps shouting about? It's mere assumption. I assure you that the situation is under the police's control. I know you want to deal with this in the right way. You are obviously a professional and a responsible person, but you clearly have never handled a situation like this before. I am handling it, Mr. Holmes. Don't question my capability here. And tell me how you do it. You can't even calm this gathered crowd, and as for the police, they're not quite managing it either, are they? You consider yourself a problem solver, but until today, you've been solving problems sitting at your desk in a dark corner of a city hall room. Here, you need a more practical approach. What are you driving at, Mr. Holmes? Can you help me? I can help you to handle the situation if you're truly interested in solving things quickly and quietly. And how exactly would you manage that? Simply tell the police that I'm with City Hall and I'm permitted to investigate the scene. I'll work out the rest. But in return, I need your help finding my witness. She's a young refugee. She's with child or was with child recently. Look, there is indeed a dead body inside the camp. So even if the girl you are looking for is there, all the refugees are now being detained and interrogated by the police. They won't allow you to speak with her. And I can't do anything about that until the situation settles down. So it's in our mutual interest to settle it. Oh, I suppose that things are bad enough that I ought not shy away from help. All right, Mr. Holmes, I'll tell the police to allow you to come inside. Just tell me when you're ready. Mr. Harlow, how did the refugees end up here exactly? Oh, so you're not from around here yourself? I've been away for some time, but I read the papers. Yes, this whole story has been in the papers for almost a year now. They were smuggled to Cordona on a ship from Africa. Smuggled? Then why didn't you deport them? The smugglers managed to sneak them to shore and hide them inside an abandoned warehouse. When the police raided the warehouse and found the refugees there, the ship was already gone. 
We aren't even certain as to which ship it was. We have busy shipping routes with other colonies these days, you see. So you decided to lock them up under a bridge? There was no other option. We're still trying to work out what to do with them. I only hope we'll find a humane solution, and not put them on a raft and float them out to sea. Mr. Harlow, what exactly do you do here? What are your responsibilities? What I do, and what I am responsible for, are two different realities, Mr. Holmes. On paper, I am in charge of the camp territory, security, provision, and the refugees in general. What I actually do most of the time is knock on every city hall door trying to obtain some funding, or at least rations for the camp. Are the police here on city hall's behalf too? They are, minus those who came here after the body was found. The governor won't let the refugees disperse into the island, so there's a significant police presence guarding the camp. Naturally, they answer directly to the police. I have some influence here, but I'm not their direct authority. I'm ready to take a look at the scene. All right. Go inside the camp and find Inspector Tewksbury. He's the officer investigating the scene. Tell him I sent you. Say you're an independent expert from City Hall. He'll fill in the details for you. I'll find my way with words. Thank you, Mr. Harlow. Murder! Beasts! So they keep these refugees under a bridge like proverbial trolls. No wonder the people outside are so disturbed. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Mr. Ronald Harlow let me in, sir. I'm Sherlock Holmes, a surveyor of refugee affairs with City Hall. You're Inspector Tewksbury, I presume? A surveyor? What does that even mean? In short, I've been sent to conduct an extensive report on the incident for the Colonial Office, and to assess all the damage inflicted on state property. Got it. Another paperworm sent to count money and get food for archive mould. Go on, look around, but don't make yourself too at home. As if I didn't have enough problems before you appeared. Could you first tell me what happened here? What happened? People from the bridge above the camp heard a woman screaming and saw a mass of refugees attacking a man. Clearly not a refugee. When the camp guards came by, the man was floating in the sewage canal with a knife in his chest. Bam. A murder. Big news for Cordona. I'm sure. Thank you, Inspector. Do you have any suspects yet? You're joking, right? I've got a whole camp full of suspects. And if you ask me, this bloke had it coming. Better bury him and forget about the whole thing. And now there's a crowd gathered at the camp, and my superiors say we must thoroughly interrogate the refugees. At least those who can understand any English. Do you believe that your superiors wish to get rid of the refugees? I think that both our superiors would rather keep the story quiet. Since that's an unaffordable luxury now, they're looking how to protect their public image. That's why I have to waste my time waiting for my people to turn every stone and befriend every refugee. And none of the refugees were harmed? One fellow was cut. He's lying over there near their... kitchen. He's in a bad way. You mentioned a woman screaming who attracted the bypasses on the bridge. Was she harmed? No, she's all right, but perhaps the whole debacle started because of her. She started wailing and the refugees stood up for the girl. And where is this young woman now? Back there in the shacks, same as the rest of the refugees. She's been questioned by my men, but she's just some refugee girl. Can't understand much English. Did you learn anything about the dead man? The fellow looks like a thug. I've had dozens like him fished out of the sea over the past 20 years. Ever since these refugees arrived, there have been people on Cordona with bad blood in them. My best bet is that this thug had something against them too. And no clue as to his identity. He had some items on his body, but nothing to indicate who he Hello? was or yeah. where he was from. I think I should catalogue his possessions in my records. Go on. They're on the table near the body. Yeah. Here we go again. Number of hours on Cordona before stumbling upon another dead body. Zero. There's really a left handprint here. Go 
Bis zu neun. Police boots. Always happy to trample evidence. A heavy boot with a worn out sole. A man's footprint. Okay, wer weiß, äh, äh, acht. Wer weiß, sieben. Someone was dragged against their will. Wer weiß, sechs. It might have been used as an improvised weapon. No hint of blood or impact. The blood sprayed off the blade after the strike. Moment later. So viel besser. Das war Beweis 6, das ist jetzt Beweis 5. Well, Carnelian Agate Beads, a traditional African adornment. Ey, ich hab so was Schnupfweit, ich verstehe das nicht. Beweis 4. Furrow in the ground. A blood trail leading to or from the canal. A fresh crack, as if the crate was hit recently. Someone bled profusely here. One thousand pounds. A fair sum, especially considering British currency isn't very common in Cordona. Malpal, soaked with salt water. A simple leather sheath. Perfect for a dirk. Help me, please. A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Cut is deep, potentially serious if not treated immediately. He is in shock, feverish and dehydrated. Sherry, you know first aid. Surely you have a duty to help this man. You can't leave him to certain death. Yeah, must wohl. Im Lager befindet sich ein verletzter Flüchtling. Sein Zustand sieht schlecht aus. Afrikanischer Flüchtling. I'll use it to create a solution. Just washed. 
Better than nothing to bandage the wound. Und Wasser. It won't do any good. I'm afraid these leaves can only be added to tea. I can use this to stop the infection from spreading. I've collated all the ingredients. Now to prepare the first aid solution. Scheiße, das stimmt. Ah, uh, thank you. This should make you feel better, my friend. Now remain lying down and drink as much water as you can. Well done, Sherry. At least he won't die from the infection. Ich muss ihn wohl retten, weil so ein Arschloch bin ich ja nicht. Was ist, was ist mit ihm passiert? Hm, coal dust under the nails. I don't see much coal around here. A steel dirk, sharp. A common accessory among sailors and soldiers. I'd say the blade penetrated upward, however the wound is too messy to be certain. An interesting tattoo. Does it mean something? Heavy boots, with one sole far more worn than the other. This man was limping, John. A violent death. But this man, limping. Coal dust. I think we're on to something here, John. You know what? I'd like to understand. What? How did our dead man end up inside the camp in the first place? If they find out about the passage, everything will go to hell. Und zu finden, welche Funktion der Durchgang hat. Hysterie? Nein, in, in nicht der Öffentlichkeit. Nein, abregeltes Lager. Quatsch. Alter Schupfung. Geringer Gehalt. Scheiße. Ich 
If they find out about the pan... Scheiße. If they find out about the pan... Einige Polizisten befürchten, dass das Lager aufgrund der alle Angelegenheit mit dem Leichter vollständig abgeriegelt wird, wodurch sie mit ihren illegalen Aktivitäten kein Geld mehr verdienen würden. Nobody will know anything if you keep your bloody mouth shut. The coppers smell fishy here, Sherry. Perhaps we should sniff around in the camp a little more thoroughly. Sherry, just look at this. Living quarters in a sewer. What kind of a genius bureaucrat came up with this idea? Was geht im Flüchtlingslager vor sich? Einige Putz. May I ask you something? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Help me, please. Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Oh, I am bored. Call me Could you help me? Answer. A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. You still here? The guards at the sewers were speaking about taking refugees out of the camp. Do you know anything about this, Inspector? Less than you do, obviously. And this doesn't bother you as an officer of the law? I can neither punish them nor put them on the right track, if that's what you're asking. Maybe your friends at City Hall could do something about it, but I seriously doubt that. To be honest, I'm sick and tired of being frowned on for my uniform. If those fine gentlemen you've eavesdropped on are in some shady business, that's on their heads. Refugees have been detained and will not leave until all the circumstances are clarified. Back off. Do you know anything about this? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Der Schurke war auch in Vogels Galerie. Der Tote aus der Flüchtlingshalle war derjenige, der in Werners Vogel Galerie eingebrochen ist. Sealed shut. I doubt our man could get through these grates.
Ich frag mal trotzdem. Is this familiar to you? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Can I ask you a question? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking? About what and dressed as what? Es verschlossen ist. Es wäre sehr mühevoll und, la und laut, diese Tor zu öffnen. We have seen some dark places in Cordona, but this. No, it's too short for these walls or cliffs. It's unlikely anyone could get in or out of the camp by water without alerting the police guards. Back off. No one deserves to end up in a place like this. Besser. Mann, das war ja nicht mit Absicht, Mann. Busy. Don't you have papers to fill? <laughs> City Hall lubberheads. Scheiß drauf. Nächste Folge. Tschüss.